We are at Opera, Opera Central today with Mark Sforzini, uh, both artistic and executive director of the St. Petersburg Opera. Uh, as well, Mark is the music director of the Tampa Bay Symphony and an accomplished bassoonist, conductor, and composer. We moved to St. Pete in 2008 and have been seasoned subscribers to the opera ever since then. And it's just been a wonderful, positive trajectory. Um, we're in Opera Central, which has to be also a major accomplishment. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about why you needed this and how you got it. And maybe we can take a little walk around at some point. Sure, sure. Yeah, uh, we moved in here our seventh season, so that was nine years ago, and uh, this is a 10,000 square foot space, and we were really blessed. I think we, we were able to purchase this property and building at just the right time, because the area has really taken off, as you can oh, see yeah. now. I mean, it's just, yeah. and um, we uh, renovated it. We launched a capital campaign to raise $1 million, um, which we did, um, so... That's impressive. We, you know, we own our building, you know, it's all paid for, it's all paid off. Um, but we've stumbled upon a rehearsal with two of our emerging yeah. artists. <laughs> uh, the company actually many years ago, we got a, a grant from the National Endowment for the Arts um, in honor of our emerging artist program and the quality of that program. And this is Lauren Williams and Aaron Rosales. Hi. And um, they are here uh, understudying the roles of Iris mm -hmm. and Juno for the opera Semele, which is soon to be produced. Mm -hmm and uh, getting some private time with the stage director, which is something that um, covers don't necessarily always get at opera companies around the company, and you know, around the country. I think that's one of the nice things about our, yeah. our program. Yeah. And we had a master class yesterday. Just looking around, I'm pretty sure I know where we are, but maybe you can tell us and a little bit about what goes on here. Um, this is our scenic shop at Opera Central, and uh, this is where we have the sets built. They get loaded into the Palladium, and uh, right now uh, Mike and Charlene are building the set for Semele. This looks like something that's going to end up in the next uh, opera, and this was a, a game changer for us too, because before we had our own building... We were just doing everything separate, like we had to rent rehearsal space. We had to rent space to store, air, air conditioned space to store our costumes we owned. We had to contract outside to get all our sets built. You know, everything was just happening at a different place. And Opera Central has sort of brought it all together. So I think it makes sense that there would be an organization that's kind of an umbrella for all of those organizations to work together and to collaborate. And I particularly love the Saturday, Second Saturday Art Walks, because, you know, we have the Morella Chamato Smith Art Gallery here, and um, we feature a different local artist every two months, and that's visual art, which is different than, you know, opera. And a lot of people will come here for the visual art, for the art walk, and then they'll discover we have an opera company. So that's just a, one example of how the Arts Alliance like brings um, arts organizations together, and you know people come to see the visual art here that's on display in the art gallery, but then they find out we have an opera company, and then they decide <laughs> to come see the opera. Yeah. Um, so, Mark, we just want to thank you so much for doing this, for sharing with us your history and uh, love for opera clearly comes through. We wish the opera company nothing but the best in the future, and keep up the good work. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Paul. Okay.